welcome back everybody to the next and possibly stupidest episode so far of Based or Cringe, season two, episode five, I think at this point. We're doing a very weird strat with boxes and cards. These are eight mod mausoleum maps. We're putting monstrous treasure on them, which puts all of the monsters into boxes. We'll make those be rarer varieties, specifically div ones, from the tree, only the div one, and uh, the drops will be duplicated. Not just by this, but also by the boss because of the div scarab of pilfering, and also possibly the div dupe altars that we will click throughout the map. This is a strat recommended to me by Vermilion, so thank you for the recommendation. This, uh, this is gonna be a funky one. We just built the tree for this. We do all the T17, you know, map stuff here. All scarabs, some shrines, quant wheel, top hat, increase the all increase effect of mods, and then we're taking the uh, div stuff, the div boxes, all blue altars, full investment into blue altars. We are trying to get quant, and we are trying to get div dupes. So I'm gonna try to click all the altars that I can. I cannot click less defenses per frenzy charge, that just deletes my build. But other than that, I think we're okay. Basically, every card that drops will be eaten by the Scarab and will be dropped from the boss if I manage to kill the boss and then duped and then possibly duped again and again. Now, you might have noticed that we're not taking the temple Beautiful proof. Beautiful penis exile. That's because we're gonna roll our boxes. <laughs> This is stupid, but we're gonna engineer orb, scour all, exalt all of our good div boxes to get a lot of extra cards from them that then will get duped and duped and duped. So that's the plan. <laughs> I think it'll take a long time, but maybe it's worth it. Also, we have 75% increased effect of the boxes, so, you know, if it has like 10 extra cards, it'll have 17 extra cards. Yeah, I don't know, we'll see. I have not ran a test map of this, so this is gonna be a live experiment. We're gonna have to figure out what's the best way to roll the boxes. We're gonna chaos spam. I think we're gonna only exalt if there's a suffix open. We're gonna read the boxes, see which one is uh, worth rolling. We'll try to figure it out in the first couple of maps. These maps are really fucking expensive. They're 20 C each on the map because they are quality eight mod maps. These, you have to roll these yourself. So we're, we're investing about 300 C into every map. So like 1.7 divines per map. That's what we have to get out of every map to break even and then make profit somehow. So without further ado, <laughs> let's get this started. I am not scrying anything. So none of my strats so far relied on scrying. This is no difference. I could just run something else and scry it onto this map and make this better, but uh, we're not gonna do that for now. Oh yeah, I bought an extra card tab for this because I obviously didn't want to clean my card tab. We'll put everything in here, set up the affinities, track the loot, blah, blah, blah. We have 16 div of reroll currency. So if we spend all of this, we spent 16 div rerolling the maps, just so we know where we're starting from. Let's do it. We try to exalt additional items. Contains cards that give corrupted items. Chest level. No. That's not good. <laughs> Do we chaos spam? Maybe we chaos spam until we have both. Maybe that's easier. Should've backed an alls. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. We're learning. 12 additional with quant. There we go. There we go. That's a good one. Tier one, high roll as well, actually. Okay. We go. We, we, we click this, right? There's nothing else to do. <laughs> Divine it. Shut up. Let's go. And this will drop exactly zero cards. Yes, because this will be this will this will be later. We will find these cards later from the boss. This is delayed gratification, guys. Now we kill a bunch of other random boxes that nobody cares about. 
And then we'll see what the boss does. Arcanist. I mean, I can awk the Arcanist. Five additional items for a mirror. There we go. Five additional transmutes, basically. Engineer. Alk. <gasps> 14 additional. Ooh, that's max draw. I think we Oh, it's only one open suffix. Okay, let's 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 slam it. Let's slam the quant. Yes! We slammed Giga Hyro Quant. 91 quant, 14 additional. Okay. Let me open this multiple times, please, bro. Nice. Two. Okay, two. Okay, 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 okay. I think that's it. I think there's no more... No more divs in the map. So, here's my idea. We leave some boxes. We leave a portal here. My vault shit is charged. If the boss is hard, we can always come back and get some, like, charged vault molten shell again. Okay, so we just do an add phase first. And then he's available. There he is. He has 357 div cards. What? <laughs> Excuse me? I don't want to get hit. I don't know if he just deletes me instantly. Let's X you. <laughs> what? Okay, nothing good. It's all bad cards. But this is the strat. The strat is working. We just need to find a good card and then triple it. Okay. I'm full. Okay, okay, you get the idea. So we ran one map and I changed my mind on scrying because we're basically doing a card strat. It would be pretty stupid to not scry some good card on us. So we're gonna run some underground C and scry Divine Beauty onto Mausoleum so that we can also get those drops from the rest of the 49 maps that are prepared here. Oh, 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 oh! Hi, Nico. He's hammering the nameless seer. <laughs> What's his problem? <laughs> Fuck you. Okay, dude, it took like nine maps. Chains of command. Pain seeker. Ephemeral edge. Max roll. Okay, first we scry a map. Mausoleum. Why is everything blinking? Why did you leave? Wait, I could just search on my own atlas. I'm a genius. Look, it's there. And then we click scry. And we click this. Do you wish to scry? I wish to scry. Divination cards in Mausoleum map will be overwritten with divination cards from Underground C map. Okay. Yes! Divined Destiny. Mm, quant. Quant only. Fuck. Oh! 85 quant and max additional. Please let me open this multiple times. At least twice, please, bro. 31% chance. Yes. Two. Pause. Two. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Could have been worse. Oh, there he is. 669 divination cards. Wait, there is two of them. Do they each have 669? No shot. How do I kite two of them though? This is hard. No way I got 1,200 cards from this map. Kite, just kite. No, one is dead. It's on the last one. There it is. <laughs> Three Dark Hell Health. That's five Eldritch Chaos. Okay. Uh, eight Fortunate. Okay. That's um, almost two div. Any, there's another dark L half. I can't, I can't loot this much. It's too much.
there is no number associated with it to scale like there is with quant and like there is with additional flat. So I, I think these are kind of bait. So I think I want to spam for, for that and then quant. If this is a high roll and we slam like two of the additional ones, that's like passable. Like we didn't slam an, a good additional. So now that we only have one chance to slam quant. So I think we reroll. And we got it. Look, this. This is insane. Wait, I might even slam this for another additional. It's 14 additional with 96 quant. This is the best we've got so far. Slam the prefix. Slam the chest level. Okay, we, did sl we didn't slam any of the other additional mods, but that's okay. Oh my god, my HPs. Okay, this is the best book we have so, so far, and we can open it again. Oh, it's a plus level ice no one. That's gonna hurt. All right, we opened it twice. That's not bad. Seven thirty, four thirty, seven seven seven. Yeah, I'm 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 thinking seven seven seven. I think it's a little more than last time. A little more than six sixty nine. Nine thirty eight. What? Okay. Good luck, guys. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Yes. Four nurse. Oh my god. That's half a doctor. How much is that? That's four div. Okay, okay, good. Also four patient. Uh, and I can't see anything else. So we will be right back, guys. Wilted rose. Ever changing. Oh. Eight patients. That's another nurse. Okay, we have five and a half nurses from this pile. And I'm full again. Oh, I heard a thing. What's the thing? I don't know. It's off screen. We'll come back and find out soon. <laughs> Four fortunates. Okay. I mean, that's not bad. That's uh, what? Two thirds of a divine. All right, counting. One. The first box we see is a diviners. <gasps> okay, that's what you like to see. Three on one screen. Okay, okay, okay. This might be a good map, guys. Go, 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 go. Nice. Oh, double open. Or three boxes. Or four boxes. Okay. Holy shit. Something thinged. Wealth and power, X2. <gasps> Level four enlightened card. Okay, 1.4 div. That, wait, there's two more. Okay, we got four wealth and power. Nice, that's, uh, that's a lot. And 947, that's a thing. But what's the thing? Stay tuned to find out. We'll find out in the next inventory. What was the thing? There's no way it's the four patients. Nope, that's not the thing. That's half a nurse, though. Four fortunate. Ah. That's a sad thing. Wait, four Sephiroth. Wait, that's like four divines. Nice. Okay, that's, that's more fortunate than the fortunate. Oh, that thing. Four divine beauty. Okay, that one came from boxes. Or from, uh, from monsters. 620 Ting 4 4 Sephiroth Nice This is uh, The most opens we had so far 1185 Div cards On the boss Don't hit me bro He's so fast Ah 
Ah. Just gotta get him to 20%. There it is. Challenge complete. Okay. It tinged. Something tinged. What tinged? We'll find out in the next episode after I've dumped my inventory. Brother's gift! Two of them! Yes! Oh my god. Okay. That's 10 div. Oh! Another brother's gift. Which means there should be... A fourth brother's gift. And there is... Okay, 20 div. Wait, there's another one. Wait, wait. Hang on. Um, wait, there's another one. What? Okay. Be right back, guys. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Let's leave the brother's gifts in the inventory. We have four so far. Guys, it's worth... Wait, we have five. Wait. <laughs> Hold. What? How is there five? So six? What? There's two more! Seven? There can't be seven. There has to be multiples of two. Okay, keep looting. Keep looting, guys. Also, eight offspring. What is that? That's a full Rizlatha. Almost. Okay. Check him PC. There's another brother's gift. There it is. It's eight. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 40 div. Okay, guys, it's working. Also, four patients. Half a nurse. I'm full. <laughs> okay, that was a good one. That was a good one, guys. Eight brothers gift. I don't know, T17, uh, T17 map mods plus a, a thousand cards and a T17 boss. I think that requires a pretty good character. But yeah, doable. For sure. Random divine from a pot. Kill the urns, guys. Watch this. Two. Three. Four. Five. What? Okay, 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 okay. I'll kill up a boss coming, guys. There's one more here. What if we did the same here? One, two, <laughs> uh oh, three. <laughs> oh no, this boss. Okay, stop, 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 stop. It's, it's, that's enough, that's enough. Jesus Christ, raid time. Nah, it's not 2k. I'm saying, I'm saying 1200. Does it beat the record? 1381. Oh no. Okay, guys. We're gonna be here for a while. Come on. Oh, okay. Okay, it tinged. But what tinged? I am full, and it's still infinite. Okay, be right back, guys. Okay. Oh! There was, uh, Fortunates, wasn't there? There's no way it was just Fortunates, right? It is literally just four Fortunates. That's the one that tinged. <laughs> Jesus, that is bad. <laughs> Unfortunate. Oh, here we go. Guys, I was featured on the news. Listen to this. Empyrean continues his based or cringe series on various PV strats in PV 3.25 Settlers of Kelker. This was probably the most successful video series of Necropolis, and it's shaping up to be one of the biggest YouTube series in the entire Path of Exile content creation community. I love it. You should check it out. Even if you are not a blaster like Empyrean, sometimes it's entertaining to watch. I've watched a few of the episodes, and I cannot deny 
how jealous it makes me when he's just raining all this currency. But I do appreciate that he showcases all these various strategies so that other people who don't have the time to attempt all this stuff do understand what is based and what is cringe. And then if you'd like a deeper dive into the meta of right. <laughs> Thanks for the shouts, Ryan. <laughs> Hashtag ad. Ding. Seven years bad luck. Four of them. Okay, it's like a third of a mirror shard. That's a div or nine div. We're going out on a low note, guys. The boss has Ooh, 10 divination yeah. cards. Yee. Wow. And two of them showed up on the filter and they are 20 alts. And that is our final map. Highlights versus low lights. This is the low lights. Here is how much is left from our ro rolling currency. And here is what we made. A lot of alt cards. 40 divs in Brother's Gift. 128 5C cards. 1764 Emperor's Luck cards. And a whole bunch of other stuff <laughs> that uh, I may or may not turn in. I'm gonna turn in some boring currency cards. We'll add that to the uh, to the currency tab, and then maybe we'll include the fun gamba turnings on YouTube. I'm obviously not gonna make you watch me turn in a bunch of alt cards, but uh, maybe some of the fun stuff will make it there. So be right back. Deterministic currency acquisition. Look, guys, that is so many alts. This is surely worth the time clicking this. How many? Yes. But these are a stack each. Are we done with alts? We are not. There is yet another alt card. Society's Remorse. And I have three inventories of them. <laughs> Guys, you thought we were done with the Chaos cards. No. Okay, it's two, it's two inventories of three phases in the dark. Okay, let's do that then. That's a lot of chromes, guys. But wait, there is more. Okay, guys, time to farm exalted orbs for all time's sake. Look at this. Saint's treasure, scout, hoarder, abandoned wealth, and alluring bounty. Wow, 65 mortal hopes. God damn, what about any other mortal? That's a couple of more mortal fragments. Nice. This is the prices of them. The good one is this one, actually. 18C for that one. Nice. Let's get more of those. Guys, we found some regret orbs. I regret to inform you. We are not quite done with the boring currencies, but soon we will move on to the fun stuff. Weeping essence. <laughs> I am weeping, dude. Holy shit. Any of these could be uh, 10C essence, guys. Anytime now. Please bulk turn in. Oh, we did it. Look, it's there. Insanity. 20C each. Look at that. The the, the 60C pool. It, it all paid off, guys. And then we up tier them like this. And now they are so much better than before. However... There is more. Let's start with some raw fun, divine. Look, it's fortunates and brother's gifts. That's pretty good. Okay, 48 raw dev from cards, plus five, just raw drops, 53. Double corrupted item. Yes, all bronze. That's pretty useless. 10C, whatever. Okay. Transfigure the gem. Perforate of duality. 2120. 30C. Corrupted prismatic jewel. The anime stone with the ailment effect. 40C, maybe. 
Exceptional gem. Here we go. We're looking for Enlighten here. It's Empower. And Enhance. We didn't get an Enlighten. Who would have thought it's the two worst outcomes? Next. A synth map. I guess Cortex best. Other stuff, whatever. No Cortex. 10C maps. Jewels with... Um, Corrupting Blood Implicit. Life and f Flask Duration. Spell Damage Dot Multi Caspi with Lightning Spells. That is, that is terrible. Minion Damage, I guess. Block Double Stat Dot Multi. That might be okay. Lightning Damage Crit Multi ES Recharge Fire Res. That one's not bad. And finally, Strength Int, and then the Crit Chance with Cold Skills. Okay, that is uh, not great. 704 Scarab cards. That's less than two inventories. Let's do it, guys. No horned in 700 cards. Six inventories of Emperor's Locks. Now I'm gonna sort this tab, take out all the garbage from here, put it in my own tabs, and then we're gonna wealthy exile price at the end after I edit up the stuff manually. All right, that's it for card turnings. Holy shit, that was painful. I do not recommend this part. Just, just filter these cards, man. Like half of them, <laughs> not worth the time <laughs> or the effort. Guys, it's time to price things. We uh, request our good friend Windows Calculator to join us on this adventure. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take out the maps and... Oh, that was a chance recipe, nice. <laughs> Perfect. And then take out the good cards from this tab. We'll Wealthy Exile, if there's any valuable cards here. We'll put that in here and then we'll Wealthy Exile this plus Currency plus Scarabs, first of all maps. I will not distinguish between favorite and non-favorite anymore. I'll just uh, value everything at four. So all of this is 16 now. I took out the lower tiers already. So these are all T16 maps or T17. Four inventories is 240 plus 43, 283 maps out of 50. At 4C each is 1,100 Chaos. Tier 17s, we got quite a lot. Not bad. We got 18 T17s, and these are Sanctuaries, which are 100C singles. Holy shit. So we'll go with 130 here in between those. 2,340 of T17s. We have some Shaper maps from cards. Some Elder maps, no Conqueror map. Sanctum, four books. I'm pretty sure Wealthy Exile can do the rest. We can take out the Malcons. Maybe you don't want to bother with that. Maybe the Temples too. Maybe the Blueprints. Wait, the Blueprints are fully revealed actually. Some of them. Okay, we got four Blueprints that are not fully revealed and four that are. These are the not fully revealed one. Let's see, revealed. We'll go with 80. 
We got two Valdo boxes. And uh, that's about it. Now, what are some good value cards here that we should take out? I think this is a wealthy exile question. There's 37 div of cards in there apparently. That is crazy, but I think it's probably overvaluing some dumb shit. So seven years, definitely take that out. Sephiroth, oh yeah, those are good. Wealth and power, those are good. Divine beauty and fortunate. Destination, ooh. Half a Watcher's Eye, Magnum Opus, almost a full set, Darker Half, mm -hmm. Artist, the Enhanced Cards, Gem Cutters Mercy, two of those, Deadly Joy, Who Asked, <laughs> Hook, Doriani's Epiphany, Lingering Remnants. Oh, this is just a Vault Temple. Nah, no, 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 I'm not taking that out. Okay, and the rest is all bad. Alluring Bounty, maybe? Yeah, that's 10C. The rest is all low value shit. Okay, I took out the good cards. It's like 10C and up. Most of them are like a lot, like 20, 30, 40 C and up. I think there's only one 10C card in here. It's this Alluring Bounty. So we'll let Wealthy Exile value that. Other than that, we are done. Now, let's sort out the investment and the roll currency. So, I started with 20 div rolling currency. We started with 16, but we kept adding up because we needed more exalts, basically, to slam some boxes. Let's see how much of that we have left, and then we'll add that back in and remove it. So, it was the question mark tab. Is 3.4 dev left here. So we spent 17 dev rolling uh, rolling the boxes, or 16.6. So we spent 2,921 chaos rolling the boxes. And uh, unfortunately, we also spent 1.7 dev on every map. Basically 300 chaos per map times 50 is 15,000 chaos. <laughs> okay, so we're at minus 14,057 chaos, and we made this, and this, and this. So let's, let's find out what that is. BC, BC, BC. How much is that? It's 169 div, which is 29,744 chaos. Which means we actually made 15,687 chaos. We are in the profit. Nice. How much is that in divines? 89 div. Okay. So that is. 1.7 div per map, 1.8 div per map. But over how long and at what cost? These took fucking forever. This was the longest like 50 map project I've done so far and the stupidest. We only got one giga explosion. If that explosion of um, divine cards didn't happen, poof, that this would be 40 div less but it would still be like 0.8 diff per map if you like never ever get lucky. And I think Ooh, you can get yeah, a lot of bigger yippee. card explosions. Wow. If you, you know, Stops. there's a lot of good cards in the game, but uh, you know, we only got one, uh, but at least we got one. So that's cool. How long did it take? So it took one hours and one hour and 36 minutes to run 10 maps. It's 480 minutes divided by 60, it's exactly eight hours to run them. So this, over eight hours, is 11 div per hour. Not too bad. However, it also took like an hour to turn in the cards. 
I mean, you probably shouldn't loot all that garbage or turn that in, so it's probably not worth your time. But if it took nine hours, including car turning, then it's only 10 deaths per hour. So that's the, that's the full calculation. As always, we don't include trading time or prep time or anything like that. It's, we, it's only the run, and then you can modify this with however long it takes you to trade or prepare stuff. This is only the farm. You can modify these numbers at your own peril. It is really painful to roll the bars. It's not bad. It's like different, you know, to your regular farming strats, but uh, it's, it's a lot of clicking. I think it's a better use of your time to only go for the devs or maybe Arcanist, click some Arcanists, of course. Maybe it's worth clicking this node on the tree and getting Arcanists too, maybe some maps too getting some T17s, but they, these will sl very slightly eat into your divs. And if you want to, you know, full yellow on the divs, then you want to take this side. But uh, it's probably worth taking the other ones and you just click those boxes and kind of skip everything else. Or beep, 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 beep. If you already have a good map scribed, then, you know, that's good. But like, we only got a couple of divine beauties. Like scrying didn't really make or break this. This would be like seven or eight divines less if we didn't have uh, the divine beauty scribed. So, that might not even be worth your time unless you're going to run this for a really long term. It was a really interesting and fun strat. Uh, the boss is crazy tanky. You need some giga single target, but on Mausoleum you can just kite it and it's kind of easy. It's just a slow walking zombie that walks at you. So, you know, it's killable even slowly. The gold gains, we made 1.3 million gold over the 50 maps. So an average of 26k per map. Gold is not great, especially for your time. You're spending a lot of time in these maps. It's much better ways to farm gold, but that's what we got just for data. Big investment, big possible payoff, possible giant card loot explosions at the end. I don't think we got lucky, but at least we got a kind of a nice one. That was, that was really fun. And if you want to chase that, you can just kind of skip the maps where you only get one boss or you know just only run the good ones if you're really hunting for those giant dopamine hits of big card explosions but um that's what we got that was a crazy one holy shit i need a break from my hands thanks for watching guys thanks for listening if you made it this far like and subscribe blah 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 youtube stuff there will be other strats coming up possibly some simpler ones this was a little too involved but uh See you next time.